Hello, my name is Jean Hermese, and I am this is professor of English at Raritan Valley Community College in Branchburg, New Jersey, Shul 2022 Open Education Conference, Rise to Action. The title of my presentation is Rise to Adapt Your Course to OER, Tips and Strategies for Instructors New to OER. My story and why I'm passionate about OER. I was a student at RVCC. I attended through a need-based full tuition program and Honor Society School by helping me pay for supplementary costs such as textbooks. I know well the tough financial decisions a working class student must confront and face. I want my OER courses to serve as a source of financial alleviation, not a burden for my students. How to approach your institution, three ways. First, reach out to your department. Go to your colleagues' profile pages. Are there any experience with OER, especially accessibility and universal learning design? Colleagues with experience in these might be able to help you. Email them early in the summer before you would like to start teaching a course that will be OER. Second, reach out to your instructional designers. Ask the same question above. See if one of them might be willing to help you. Third, reach out to your library. Are there any librarian colleagues who could help, especially in letting you know if there are any grants available so that you can be compensated for your time on this? Gather, export, and import OER content. Does your department already have OER or free online versions of the readings that you want to teach? In a course show or online sandbox in the learning management system of your institution? For example, an OER English 111 course shell or sandbox in Canva there into your own course shell. If there is not, then Ask your instructional designer to create a sandbox shell for you to collect links to articles, if those might be your course readings, for example. Many links have paywalls, so you may need to convert the web pages of articles to PDF files. In course shell, import content by uploading export package. How to manage your time with OER. The season before the semester that you plan on teaching with OER materials, create an event in your calendar that sets aside an hour per weekday or perhaps a few hours once a week, just a few examples of how to chunk your time to collect links. If the above is not feasible or foreseeable to do, then during the semester that you are teaching with OER, set aside one or two hours on a day of the week when you usually prepare your lessons for that course and release one week or a few weeks at a time, a module of OER that the students will need to do their homework. Let's see a demo. First, we're going to go into my learning management system canvas, then I will go to an unpublished course shell that was created for me by my institution's instructional designer. This shell is simply called Jamie's Sandbox. We will go into my sandbox and you will see a tab on the left called modules. When I click on modules, you will see that acts as the storehouse for all the OER course materials. These modules were already created by colleagues in my department who were awarded a grant as compensation for their time in compiling these OER materials. But to create your own module plus. Let's take a look at a sample unit. How is technology changing us? You will see that there is a collection that can be edited by clicking edit in the top right. 
you can see that there are a variety of ways to access the same article, which acts as a course reading. The direct link to the article, an accessible PDF, a permalink to our library's online collection of readings, etc. To export content, you simply go to settings, And then to the right, export content. That will create a downloadable file, including the course export package. If you want to import content into your official course shell, go to settings in that course shell and simply click import content to the right. You will be prompted to upload a file, which is when you would choose the downloaded file of the course export package. If you have any questions, please, I invite you to feel free to email me at jamie.parmisi at raritonval.edu. Thank you so much for your attention to this presentation, and I hope that you found it useful. Thank you.